Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows an ovarian pregnancy with fetal demise and a uterine mass. Ovarian pregnancy refers to an ectopic pregnancy that is located in the ovary. Typically, the egg cell is not released or picked up at ovulation but fertilized within the ovary where the pregnancy implants. Such a pregnancy usually doesn't proceed past the first four weeks of pregnancy. The pouch of Douglas or retrovaginal septum is the space between the rectum and the uterus. This is the lowest part of abdominal cavity. The female pelvis is a complex and ever-changing area of human body and the pouch of Douglas is a particular area of contrast, also known as cul-de-sac. The pouch of Douglas exists between the uterus and the rectum and is the most dependent area of the pelvis where fluid pools. A small amount of fluid in the cul-de-sac is normal and is usually not of concern. A fluid sample shows signs of pus or blood, the area may need to be drained. Sometimes blood can be a result of ruptured cyst or signs of ectopic pregnancy. Now you can see a small uterine mass in the central portion of the uterus. The mass is round to oval in shape and looks to be semi-solid to solid in consistency. No fluid is seen in this mass. Just 1 to 2 percent of all pregnancies are ectopic and in 95 percent of these cases the egg is fertilized in the fallopian tubes on its way to the uterus. In half percent of cases including this one the baby grows inside the ovary itself. Conceptive denotes the embryo and its uh, adenexa or associated membranes. For example, the products of conception. The conceptus includes all structures that develop from the zygote, both um, embryonic and extra embryonic. Now, this patient having the ovarian pregnancy has a history of previous case of left ovarian pregnancy and she was operated for that left ovary is missing now the left ovary or the right ovary also has ectopic pregnancy ectopic pregnancy is the implantation of conceptus outside the normal uterine cavity site many factors are implicated in the development of ectopic pregnancy. If the ectopic is ruptured, the patient may present with signs of shock. With an ectopic, the uh, no evidence of intrauterine pregnancy would be noted on ultrasonography, as in this case. Ectopic pregnancy is the implantation of fertilized egg in an abnormal location. In an ectopic pregnancy, the fetus cannot survive. When the ectopic pregnancy ruptures, women often have abdominal pain and vaginal bleeding, which, if not treated, can be fatal. Now you can see the fetus inside the right ovary, but no fetal cardiac activity is visible and no blood flow is seen in this embryo. The pregnancy measures about 7.5 weeks. If the fertilized egg continues to grow in the fallopian tube, it can cause the tube to rupture. Heavy bleeding inside the abdomen follows usually. Symptoms of 
life threatening events including extreme light headedness fainting severe abdominal pain and shock now you can see the fetus inside the ovary most ectopic pregnancies can be detected using a pelvic examination ultrasound or blood tests a pregnancy in the uterus is visible uh, uh, visible 6 weeks after the last menstrual period but when an advanced uh, with an advanced ultrasound machine it could be seen earlier ectopic pregnancy should be suspected if there are no signs of embryo or fetus in the uterus as expected but hcg levels are elevated or rising you can see there is no blood flow seen in this embryo pregnancy causes a lot of changes to the body some of these changes can cause mild discomfort or light cramping in the area around ovaries ovary pain may cause pain on one side of lower abdomen or pelvic area any serious ovary pain should be report reported to the doctor typical symptoms of most commonly con- confused with an ectopic ovarian pregnancy both clinically and pathological are a ruptured hemorrhagic corpus luteal cyst chocolate cyst or a ruptured distal tubal ectopic pregnancy even then it can be mistaken for a hemorrhagic corpus luteum or an ovarian cyst because oophorectomy is a radical procedure for ovarian ectopic pregnancy consideration should be given to patient's age fertility and desire to have further pregnancies and the size of the mass whether resection can also be another surgical option in a normal pregnancy hcg level doubles every 48 to 72 hours until it reaches 10000 to 20000 in ectopic pregnancies hcg levels usually increases less mean serum hcg levels are lower in ectopic pregnancies than in healthy pregnancies no single serum hcg level is diagnostic of an ectopic pregnancy again you can see the uterus having a mass and the right ovary having an ectopic pregnancy and you can see the uterus is empty and the pregnancy is visible in the right ovary left ovary is already operated you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks